So there's a lot of chairs, there's like desks and things like that in this room, and then there's this huge open room. So I'm gonna tell you guys what this is all about. There's a, this is like an observatory, so a lot of like adult people or whoever sits in this room and just watches the kids and writes notes for like on a piece of paper right here. And they just observe and observe based on something, I don't know. It's pretty crazy, and the other thing is, they can't even look back to this other side because on the other side of this, it's an actual mirror. So they can watch it from the inside, but the kids or whoever does not know what's happening on this side. What's up guys, Exploring with John, and we are in for another video today. I would like to start this video by saying, check out this interesting weight machine. That looks pretty cool. But anyway, so today we're exploring this huge abandoned tuberculosis hospital opened up in the 1900s. The interesting thing about this place is that they actually had a lot of ill patients where in which they didn't use drugs or anything to treat them. They kind of took them out, exercised, and did random things like, like that. So we're going to take a look around and see what kind of history that falls behind this place. Let's begin this. So we just started off the intro over there. I'm going to make my way upstairs right now. It's like a secret stairway that goes right upstairs from here. I mean, you would expect like a hallway or something, but this is kind of like a, a little secret way that just brings you. So we're just going to follow this up and see where we go. A lot of the rooms inside this place is completely empty, but pretty interesting still. I mean, there's still things like chairs here still sitting around, a ran of furniture, but other than that, I don't see any paperwork yet, but I'm going to still keep looking around. Maybe you might come across it or might not. I just love how there's so much open, like, air for you to just get in, which is what I like. You can tell that this place has been very unactive for so long. I mean, just looking at the ground, it's dirt piles everywhere. The wallpaper is completely peeled off. This one has, has been used for years versus a lot of the other places that we've been. I mean, normally you're able to actually walk, but instead, I'm just walking on piles and piles of dirt. This place is so old, but you guys have to check this out. This looks like a tub where people sit in. It's almost like a chair. But a tub at the same time? Does it even make sense? Take a look. This is it right here. So it's like a tub, but it also has a seat right there. So I don't know, I guess that's the handles that they hold. It looks like a hydrotherapy tub, to be honest, but it's also like a chair. I don't know. The way it's shaped. To be honest, I've never seen anything like this in any other band place that I've personally been in. So this is a lot different from what we'll normally see. That was pretty interesting guys. I'm gonna keep walking around and see what else I can come across. This place is definitely pretty pretty cool to check out though. So for example, when I look at these wallpapers, I look at places like this. I just think about like how much hard work they put into leaving like designing things like this on the walls or like making this art style put together or like these drawings and such like that we're even building this entire place it's so unfortunate how history hard work history goes to a waste and gets kind of abandoned like this i mean for example this place used to be so active you used to have a lot of patients kind of running around doing all these active things and now as you think over time things just come like apart from each other and now this is what it becomes it's it, i think it's so unfortunate it's sad actually Here's another interesting reference of mine. When I explore abandoned places, I think about like Resident Evil, like the first one, because what happened was it had all like the mercenaries, like Jill, Chris, and all everyone, right? They're all together, but when they got to the mansion, they all split apart and went to check out their own things, which in which makes me think about this, because me, Danny, and Josh, we all split up to go kind of explore our own thing throughout this entire place, and maybe just run each other a few times. Who knows, might run to someone soon. I'm gonna have to say, these stairs look really cool. I'm going to tell you guys what's interesting. This brick wall blocks the way, pathway from one hallway to the other. And this is the other side. I had to go through a staircase to come through here. Let's walk down. Even if you check out this one area, look at how like, the, the entire wall is just destroyed and just thrown all over the ground. Even right here. It's just crazy. It looks like someone just comes over and just bashes everything. Over time, I guess this is just what happens. I decided to walk around the entire building and I got a hint right there. There's a tripod. I think the guys are over here. What up, guys? Yo, dude, we got the best picture. Look at this. Yeah. Let me see. You can't, 
It's a long facing, but you can see us do it. Is oh, that is sick. Wait, hold on. Yo, this is crazy. The problem is... This is awesome. I have my wide angle on. Oh my god, that's amazing. So what happens is you see a lot of this. 666. Satan is here all over the place. Then you have a lot of like this really old structured place. But I say that as I walk through this entire place, all I see is just destroyed structure. But I'm gonna tell you what's really neat. This room is really interesting. When you look up, you get this amazing thing right here. It's like a see-through, like for all like the sunlight that come through, but it really brings on this amazing like artistic, like I don't even know how to describe it. Comment below what you guys think because like this is awesome. Alright, so I'm reunited with Danny right now. Thank God. Danny and I, we're gonna go check out the basement. The basement usually gives us the most creepiest vibe. The only reason why is because it's so dark in here and there's not much sunlight that actually comes through. For example, you can tell in the background everything's really dark besides a few pieces of windows. And alongside with this freaky thing, we have a wheelchair that just sits right here. This is like out of the ordinary. <laughs> I mean, it happens. You see them across the entire time though. Wear my mask now for safety precautions. Look at all this stuff just lying from the ceiling. It's very, it's very wet in here too for some reason. I think, I think, I don't, I don't recall it raining not too long ago. So this must be some really old oil or something. The basement's always the freakiest in my per se. Juvenile Diabetes Foundation International. Looks like one of the young ones that were inside Juvenile. That's interesting. Damn, that's a little freaky. Looks like someone drew like teeth marks on it. So this is like one of the, kind of like a face mask to kind of prevent from like germs and such like that. But just look at the, look at those teeth marks like literally just drawn on this. I don't know, it's pretty, pretty cool. Another random found that we had in this place. Danny, watch out where you're going. There's actual sh** right there. Yeah, awesome. Jesus Christ. That's nasty. Hope I didn't step in anything. I wonder, do these outside people come in and take poops all over the place? Like, what the heck, man? <laughs> I'm trying to walk through and explore this place, but I have all over the place. Okay. <laughs> so you guys won't believe what we just came across. I'm going to enter these double doors, and you're going to be able to see what I just found. I think this is pretty crazy. Check it out. Holy crap. This is where they probably perform the arts and stuff. This is a huge like stadium. Fortunately, there's no seats or anything, but it's pretty cool. I mean, now we got the day to see how the theater looks of this place. Fortunately, it's very graffiti up everywhere, but the thing I love about it is like you're able to perform your talents and stuff. So you're able to showcase your skills, your abilities. It's really interesting. So looking behind, this is the two double doors we just entered from. Smiley face and tongue face with the a little drip of it from the eye. It's cool that you look around because these are the things that you could come across and explore a place fully. I mean, we we're just about to leave until we came across this and we we're like, wow, holy crap, behind the double doors is this exciting looking area. I'll tell you it's also interesting. So this is like the white screen back here. Unfortunately, it's very destroyed now, but from up there is where they actually had a display from the movie that shoots down to here and you can see like the reflection of it. What the hell is that noise? You guys hear that? Listen. Evacuation notice? That's what it sounds like. It is tornado firing. Okay, that's loud. Hold on, I see where you're going for place. I did it one time. Damn, I think we might have missed the audio touch for that, unfortunately. There was like a silent hill, like. Do you know what it's like to die every day? I do. I don't know. These people are pretty crazy. Guys, check this out. This is like an incinerator. I mean, it goes hot and cold. And then there's all these toys in here. And the funny thing is, there's a baby in there. It's kind of like giving us a message, like, you know, hot baby, burning, unfortunate. I think it's really, really different, very weird. I mean, there's a, look at this room, too. It's all like destroying, like, so much mess everywhere. Man, as a mess, I'm talking about like, this just paper just lying all over the ground. And look at this. 
Oh, cool nuts. My son died in this very room. And then lying all over this room is just toys and toys and toys. It's so unfortunate. It's like, you feel like all the kids are just stuffed in here. And the weird thing is, it's a dark, a whole completely dark room. So, it feels like you're just away from everything. Uh, what else is that? It's like you're away from everything that's really happening on the outside of this place. There's Lego toys lying all over the ground as well. So there's like a lot of old toys just laying here. And this is exactly meant for the younger, younger kids to kind of just hang out in. I think I had a really small room for them. The very unfortunate thing is that a lot of kids actually have disorders and things like that. Or the parents might have disorders, they might just be playing here. Who knows? It's pretty sad to think about. So Josh had an interesting find inside this place. So there's a lot of chairs, there's a desk and things like that in this room, and then there's this huge open room. So I'm going to tell you guys what this is all about. There's a, this is like an observatory, so a lot of like adult people or whoever sits in this room and just watches the kids and writes notes like on a piece of paper right here. And they just observe and observe based on something, I don't know. It's pretty crazy. And the other thing is, they can't even look back to this other side because on the other side of this, it's an actual mirror. So they can watch it from the inside, but the kids or whoever does not know what's happening on this side. Interesting, right? I think that's a little freaky, but I guess this is how things work. Uh, that was a really interesting explore. I mean, we found a lot of pretty neat things, such as like oven with like the baby toy in it. Pretty weird to me. Um, so what I tried doing is try bringing you guys along with me on the adventures, which I do all these explorings, I do all these recordings, why I, I document the place. But anyway, we are out, we've been exploring this place for so long now, four hours going through this entire place. So we are going to be leaving out, definitely check out Danny, his description, his entire link will be in the description below. And Josh and his link will be in the description below. And be sure to check out my other channel, my other videos, because I just got back from a huge USA road trip alongside, I do a lot of crazy other band places. So if, you, if you're new to this channel, definitely check out all my other content. Be sure to leave a subscription below. I am out.